Hey boys and girls and welcome to another episode of Mackie. Today we're going to do something incredible. We're going to learn all about the animals you can find on safari. That's right. So if you go to Africa and you go on safari, these are some of the animals you can find. I hope you're excited and I hope you enjoy this episode. We're going to learn some fascinating things about different animals in the animal kingdom in Africa. Are you ready? Yes! Of course you are. But now, before we get going on our adventure, I need to change. I think I've got my binoculars, so that's cool. But I think this hat needs to go and we need to get a bit more safari. Here we go. Ah, much, much better. Now, I look a bit more like I'm on safari. Another thing I like to take when I go on safari is a nice camera. This is the camera that I like to take when I go on safari. Why? Because this camera gets some beautiful photos of all the wildlife that you can see on safari. Right, enough talking about the photos for now. Let's get cracking with this episode. Now, because safari animals are found in Africa, I thought it would be very, very cool to learn a little bit of an African language. The African language I'm going to teach you today is called Zulu. So I'm going to teach you how to say hello and how are you in Zulu. Are you boys and girls ready? Yes! Are you sure you're ready? Yes! Okay, cool. So, the first word, which is hello in Zulu, is sawabona. Can you say that with me? Sawabona. Let's try it one more time. Sawabona. So, sawabona means hello. In Zulu, there's no good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's just hello. So, sawabona. Then, how are you is unjani wena. Let's try that one again. Unjani wena. One more time. Unjani wena. So, hello is saubona. How are you? Unjani wena. There we go. I'll teach you a little bit more in future episodes. If you want to learn some more, that is. But for now, let's get cracking with our animals. So when you go on safari, you go on this really cool vehicle called a game vehicle. And usually it's driven by a person named the game ranger. Now the game ranger's job is to drive around these big open spaces and try and help you find different animals. The cool thing about a game ranger is he can give you some really great information about the different animals. All right, boys and girls, so today I'm going to be your game ranger. Right, so we're going to learn about all different animals, but we're going to start with the big five. In Africa, we have what is called the big five animals. Those are the lions, the leopards, the black rhino, elephant and the buffalo. So these five different animals are the animals we're going to start with. Again, that's the lion, the leopard, the black rhino, the elephant, the African elephant and the buffalo. Now let's look for our animals. Can you see any yet? Let's start with the black rhino. You might be wondering why I specifically said the black rhino. Well, the black rhino is different from the white rhino. And the big difference between the two rhinos is that a black rhino has a pointy mouth, whereas a white rhino has a more square mouth. Remember we learned about shapes in our last episode? Well, when we did shapes, we did triangles and we did squares. So the black rhino has more of a triangular top lip and the white rhino has more of a flat 
top lip, which looks kind of square. Now, the interesting fact about rhinos is that, unfortunately, rhinos get poached. Now, they get poached for their horn. Their horn is made of the same material that your fingernail is made of. Isn't that amazing? But it is so important that we protect the rhinos. Boys and girls, today in the wild, there are only an estimated 5,500 black rhinos left. So we need to do everything that we can to make sure that we protect and look after these animals. Boys and girls, did you know that when there's a whole group of rhinos together, it's called a crash of rhinos? How cool is that? And they're so funny because when they're in the bush, they really sound like they're crashing through the bush when they're running. The next animal we're gonna talk about is the lion. He's known as the king of the jungle. Now, lions are also cats. Did you know that? Cats generally don't like to live in groups, but lions do. Lions live in big groups of up to 30 lions in one group. That is called a pride of lions. Now, if you've watched The Lion King, you'd know all about lions, and I'm sure you love that story. But what you might not know is that when a lion roars, it can be heard up to eight kilometers away. That is far, boys and girls, really, really far. And sometimes when lions roar, they are warning other lions in other parts that they are around. Lions are incredible. They are very, very big cats. And it is such a privilege to see one in the wild. Right, boys and girls, the next one in the big five is the buffalo. Now, buffaloes are very, very, very big animals and they also live in big groups. Then we have the leopard. Now leopards like to be alone and they're very, very good at climbing trees. Sometimes when they catch their prey, they'll drag it up and hang it in a tree and eat it in the tree. Very often, you won't see a leopard during the day because they are known as nocturnal animals. They can run up to 58 kilometers an hour and they are so quiet when you see them in the bush. It is a huge privilege to see leopards in the bush. It's not very often, like I said, that you'd see them during the day because they are nocturnal and they hunt and they are mainly active at night. Then we've got the elephant. The elephant is a huge animal, boys and girls. And elephants, you can tell if it's a boy elephant because it's got big tusks. Those are those big white horns that come out of the side next to its trunk. And they are incredibly intelligent animals. They say elephants can remember things for years to come. And they also live in big families. Elephants, though, can be very, very dangerous. So it's always a good idea to never get too close to an elephant unless it's a tame elephant. In Africa, we've got so many different habitats. We've got forests and we've got deserts. We've got the hot African sun and the humidity. And then we've got big rains that come during summer. And it is wonderful to see how the African landscape changes throughout the year. Boys and girls, if you've never been on a safari, I hope that one day you can get to go on a safari and see all of these animals in the wild for yourself. Now there's a few other animals that I'd like to chat about. Um, one of them is a very tall animal. He's got a long neck. Hmm. Do you know what it is? Do you? Did you say giraffe? Well, if you did say giraffe, then you are right. Giraffes are very, very tall and they've got very long necks. This is to help them reach right up into the trees to be able to eat from the trees. Boys and girls, they can even eat thorns. Can you believe it? Thorns, yes. And the thorns don't hurt them. What's also incredible about a giraffe is that it's got a very, very long tongue. And it uses its tongue to wrap around onto the branch 
and then rip off the leaves and eat them. How cool is that? There's a fun little fact that they say a giraffe's tongue is so long that it could lick its ears to clean them. Oh, how weird is that? I bet you you've never seen a giraffe lick its ear, have you? Now boys and girls, another fun fact about giraffes is that when giraffes are standing still all together, they are known as a tower of giraffes because of how tall they are. But when these giraffes are moving all together across the plains of Africa, they are known as a journey of giraffes. How cool is that? And then we've got another really cool animal. And if you've watched Madagascar, you've seen him in Madagascar. It's the zebra. Now zebras are very cool. Some people say zebras are like horses. Uh, not quite true because a zebra's got its different stripes and a zebra doesn't make the same noise a horse makes. A zebra makes a very unique sound. <laughs> zebras can often be found living with wildebeest. Now that's a very interesting combination, wildebeest and zebra. But they get along super well in, in nature and they often spend time together grazing through the fields. Another cool fact about zebra is that they get bloated all the time. So they always look healthy and full. <laughs> now here's a trick question for you. Are zebras white with black stripes or are they black with white stripes? <laughs> See if you can find out the answer to that. Then boys and girls, if you land up near a watering hole or a lake and you look around and you look around, you may be lucky enough to see a hippo. Now hippos live under the water and on top of the water. And when they can hold their breath for a very long time underwater. Now one interesting thing about the hippo is that it can run at up to 40 kilometers an hour. Can you believe it boys and girls? That is very, very fast. You might look around the lake and you might even see a crocodile. Wow. Now crocodiles, interestingly enough, they say come from potentially the dinosaur ages. Crocodiles are like big old lizards and they can live for a really, really long time. It's always important to respect the animals in nature and to be very quiet when you're around them. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you learned some really fun facts about animals. Why don't you go and find your parents and tell them some of the facts you've learned about animals on safari. And who knows, maybe before you know it, you'll be on a game vehicle on a real safari somewhere in Africa. Bye bye boys and girls. Have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye.